Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Once again, talking concept knives. Now this one is the concept Helix. And pretty cool thing about the Helix is it's actually a Mikkel Willemson design. So concept has some outside designers designing for him, which is very cool. I mean, Mikkel Willemson's a fairly well-known designer, so pretty, pretty cool. Uh, first thing we're going to take a look at is, as always, you know, Concept really does a fantastic job with their packaging. I mean, you get the really nice, you know, pouch here that the knife comes in. And then, of course, you always get your Marin care and maintenance instructions along with a cleaning cloth, microfiber cloth. So, uh, shout out to, to Concept as far as that goes. Now, here's the thing, guys. This one, yeah, it's another affiliation knife for this month. Um, you guys were using my uh, affiliate link to Smoky Mountain Knife Works pretty, pretty hard there over the last month or so. So I was able to get a couple of different knives to uh, to end up. Well, you know, you know what I do with affiliation knives. So there's your there's your hint. I tell you what, guys, check out this blue, though. Man, look at that. It pops. Really, really good looking blue color. Blue G10 on this one. And then uh, the liners are kind of, they're, they're, it says anodized gray, but you've got the gray liners. Then you have a black backspacer in there, uh, G10 as well. Lanyard slot there, very cool. Lanyard fans, yes indeed. And then you've got your deep carry pocket clip, stainless steel pocket clip screws no but it's not too bad uh you do have a, a good amount of you know open space there in the clip that doesn't really cause too much of an issue um as you can tell there it is a flipper do have some jimping on that flipper tab to assist in opening for sure let's just do a double take yeah that looks pretty good now the one thing i'm going to say about this and this has been a thing with pretty much every concept knife I've seen. Um, this knife is very easy to fail. Uh, and that, that's been the case, as I said. Uh, the detent is kind of weak. <laughs> and that's just... Uh, I don't know the reason why, but that has been kind of my thing with concept knives, is their, their detents are just really weak. So you... It's a decent sized blade, decent size, and as you can tell, your your flipper tab is above the pivot, so you got to you got some leverage there, but you got to give it a flick. All right. Um, I have failed this knife several times, not trying, just trying to open it, and I just get a bad flip, and it just doesn't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, you definitely need to get behind that flipper tab and give it some flip. Otherwise, you know. It's a good sized blade. It's gonna come shut on you. So just be careful with that. Now you do your flipper tab does give you a good protection spot. You know, you open that liner lock, it drops out right on your thumb, and then shut it. But yeah, just something to keep in mind that detents light. And if it was maybe a little bit stiffer, I mean that blade has got some weight to it. So I mean if you open it down you're not going to have much worry because that weight, <laughs> the weight of that blade is going to take it open, you know. So, just something to keep an eye on, you know, be aware of. I guess that's a better way to say it. Otherwise, not too bad. Got a nice big D2 steel blade. Love the stone wash. It's kind of light. It's not overly dark, but I do dig that. Of course, there you got your concept logo. There you have your model number and your D2 for your steel. Uh, right there, you can see I got the Helix name, and then you have Mikael Williamson. So very cool. Overall, the blade, uh, you got some good jimping on the top of the blade. does work well. And then, of course, you do have a very generous finger choil up there. We'll talk about that here in a little bit uh, when we talk overall. Nice swedge on the blade. Nice. Good, decent belly. So you do have, you got a nice chunk of D2 there. You've got a really nice D2 blade. Oh, come on. There we go. Camera didn't want to focus there for a minute. But good, decent-sized blade. 
Overall, all right, what do we got? It's a good size knife. It's a really good size knife. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, you're pushing, I'm getting almost nine inches. What do they say as far as official? 8.9, yeah, I'm right there with you. Uh, overall handle length, you're looking about five and a quarter as I measure it. And they say 5.3, okay, very good. Very good, we're doing the same thing. We're talking same number, so I like that. And then your blade length, about three, yeah, about three and three quarters-ish almost, and your blade, or your cutting edge is gonna be right there as well. Now your grip length. Now, regular grip length from point to point, you're looking at one, two, three, four, three and three quarters, almost four. Uh, but with that generous forward finger choil, you're talking one, two, three, four. You're talking nearly five inches. So those of you with large, you know, larger hands than mine, obviously, uh, you shouldn't have any issue with this knife. Should be plenty of grip. Of course, we'll get our size comparisons out of the way. There's the PM2. <laughs> Helix is a little bit bigger than the PM2. So I'm telling you what, if it's bigger than that, this bug out, oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good size knife. Peter, you'd be very happy with this one. Wouldn't be surprised if he's already seen it. But, uh, weight, that's where we're gonna, definitely has some weight to it. Um, it carries well. I didn't mind the way it carried, but you're definitely gonna have a little bit of weight. So grams, you're looking at 158, so that's what, five and a half? Yeah, 5.6, 5.6 ounces on there so but it's nice and thin it, it's a thin knife it's not overly thick so it, it carries pretty the profile is pretty good you know as large as it is it's going to take a lot of room kind of lengthways and you know width in pocket a little bit too but it's very narrow so it's not going to give you a large profile in your pocket which not bad overall carry as i said that deep carry clip yeah, it pretty much it pretty much disappears in the pocket. Without a doubt. And your clip is not. I didn't say that. It's not ambidextrous. It's pretty much right hand. Uh, tip up carry only. So overall, uh, the Helix is a very. It's an interesting knife for sure. Like I said, um, I'm pretty good from here up. From here back, I'm kind of like mm, okay, you know. Uh, grip wise, it, it feels pretty good in hand. It, it really does. It doesn't feel bad. The, the clip is not an issue. Um, the jimping here is, it's good. It's not, you know, I mean, if you want to get in this type of grip, I mean, I don't ever use it, but it, it aids a bit in that. Otherwise it's pretty much there, just there for looks. Um, getting forward on it, I am... If I'm just using the regular grip, uh, the the jimping is way too far forward. So I'd have to choke up to use the jimping. This grip, for me, is probably more comfortable than this grip. And I think it's just because of the size of the knife. That's what I'm attributing it to. Um, usability. Now, using the knife, I want to be back here more. Um, when I was using it for, you know, cutting rope and stuff at work, I didn't really want to be up here doing that. I could very easily, but it felt better to do it back here. So I'm kind of in between. This kind of feels like a better grip, but this is a better usable grip, if that makes any sense at all. You know, sorry, I I'm definitely not trying to confuse you here, but just, I mean, it wasn't bad. N none of them are bad. None of the grips are bad. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's the angles. But it's not, it doesn't thrill me. I'll put it that way. That's how I'm going to put it the best way I can. Um, now, overall, like I said, the detent. The detent is probably my biggest issue and that just seems to be a concept trend. Uh, every, every concept knife I've had has had a pretty weak detent. Uh, but you just got to flip it and flip it with authority, and it's fine. 
Um, don't weak flip it because it's just not going to happen. I'm telling you. Um, again, overall, not a bad knife. I, I like what concept. I like the concept of concept. Does that make sense? Um, I like a lot of their designs. There's just, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I kind of sound like Lefty. You know, he's kind of become the detent diva. And in a way, I, I do agree with him. I, I like a solid detent. That's just my, I just do. Um, yeah, it, it's its what I prefer. Uh, the pocket clip screws there again, you know, as long as they don't, you know, mess up, grab your pocket or anything like that. The recessed pocket clip screws, it's just a nice, it looks good. It, it takes for better attention to detail in my opinion. And it's, it's definitely not a deal breaker. You know, detents, they're not a deal breaker, but it's definitely, I put a lot more stock in that than I do those screws. Put it that way. So, you know, let me know what you think. Let, let me know what you guys think about detents in the, in the description or in the comments, excuse me. Let me know what you guys think about that. So overall, the Helix... It's not a bad knife. It's a decent knife overall. There are a few different models. You've got the blue with the gray like this one. There's a green with kind of like a cream color. It, it's bronze, I guess they call it. It looks, I guess it's bronze. Yeah, I guess. It, just from the picture, it looks a little different. Uh, there's a black and blue. There's a, then you have the gray and black titanium. And you also have the stonewashed black titanium. And those two are in S35BN. So those are a little bit more. This model right here sells for right around 58 bucks. Uh, the titanium models there, you're talking right around titanium and S35BN. You're talking closer to the 200 uh, price point for those. So as I said, this is one of May. I know, I'm kind of behind. This is one of May's affiliation knife so do what y'all need to do you know what that means and yeah let me know let, let me know down in the comments guys i really want to kind of we, we give lefty a bad time about being a detent diva and stuff like that but i really want to know kind of your thoughts about detents I, I think that's a that would be a fun conversation so let me know as always greatly appreciate you hanging out with me and checking out the concept helix today as always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. Let's talk about detents. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.